Here are some tips and tricks for Motorola Edge 60 Pro. So first of all, what we can do is we can create a widget stack in the home screen, which allows you to save some space. For example, if it is possible to create a widget stack, you can press and hold your finger on a first widget where the stack will be created. And then over here, you should be able to find edit stack option. So if you drop a widget over here, you should be able to add more widgets. And depending on the size of the widget, you will see various widgets that you can add. So in this case, unfortunately, my options are limited. So I can, for example, add this Google TV widget. And from Moto widgets, I can, for example, add another clock, but I don't think it makes any sense to do so. And we can simply swipe up and down between different widgets that we have added into the stack. And like I said, it depends on the size of the widget. In some cases, we have more options available, um, but that's of course to figure out. Another thing that I want to show you is the modern control center style, because of course, by default, we have this classic style, but we can use a more modern option. So if we open settings, then you should be able to go to home and lock screen and then over here go to the control center and then we can switch to modern style. If you do so, you can just simply swipe on the right side of the phone from the top to the bottom like this in order to open the control center. As a drawback, if you go to notifications, you won't have these uh, example buttons that we have um, by default when we are using the classic style. However, I think this modern style looks quite nice. And of course, the difference is that if you go to notifications, then you have the control center completely separated. But of course, you can switch between these two menus. And if you want to open notifications, then of course, you need to swipe on the left side of the phone. But if you want to open the control center, you want to swipe on the right side. In the settings, we can also go to sound and vibration. And over here, we can find, for example, this gesture over here pick up to silence. So when this option is enabled and someone calls you, when the ringtone is playing, then you should be able to just simply pick up your phone in order to mute the ringtone. So if you usually mute the ringtone when someone calls you, then this gesture will be quite useful. Another thing that we can find in sound and vibration is Dolby Atmos settings. If we scroll down, you should be able to find Dolby Atmos over here. So of course we have a welcome message, but we can just skip it. And over here we can enable and disable Dolby Atmos, however, if you use loudspeakers when no audio device is connected to your phone, then you won't be able to turn it off. But besides that, we also have settings over here in the bottom left corner. So if you open it, you should be able to find different profiles, different presets that you can use, and you can also create your own custom preset as well. So for example, if you're looking for Bass Boost, then you should be able to do that, for example, over here. Now let's go back to the main menu of settings and let's choose gestures because over here we can find the quick launch option which is a pretty cool gesture that allows you to double tap the back of the phone in order to perform a certain action. If you have troubles with launching different actions then you can also press try it out in order to figure out where you have to tap and how strong you have to tap. Of course the strength or uh, how strong you should be able to tap in order to perform the gesture can be adjusted but generally speaking I usually tap over here. So if I just double tap I should be able to see the feedback. So besides that, of course, we can choose what should happen when we double tap. So essentially, we want to tap on this setting icon over here in the bottom left corner. And then as you can see, we can adjust how hard you should tap in order to activate the gesture. And of course, what should be done when you do so. So we can choose to, for example, take a screenshot or even open a specific app of our choice. In the gestures, we can also find the fast flashlight option, which is a simple motion. Uh, chopping motion or actually you have to use that motion twice you have to chop twice in order to turn on or off the flashlight so let me quickly demonstrate i'm gonna just use this gesture let's see if it works there we go as you can see the flashlight has been enabled and then disabled so definitely quite useful in certain situations let's go back to settings once again and this time we're gonna go to apps because over here we can find the app lock option which allows you to create a password for apps so let's say i'm gonna set up a simple pin code over here there we go and after that you should be able to choose which apps should be locked behind the password so let's say i'm gonna lock facebook over here and i'm gonna also lock tiktok so now if i try to open one of these apps as you can see i have to enter 
the password. In addition to that, of course, you can use fingerprint sensor if you have it set up and uh, face recognition. Last but not least, we're gonna go to the security and the privacy settings because over here at the bottom, if we open more security and privacy, you should be able to find this option, protect from online scammers. So this is definitely worth enabling option because we can get alerts from suspicious websites that could potentially be scamming websites. So for the sake of your own protection, it is recommended to of course turn it on and keep it on. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe.